and we go racing in Sao Paulo. Verstappen draws alongside. Does Norris close the door? Can Norris close the door? Max Verstappen takes the lead at the first turn, at the first lap. Norris will try and come back. Verstappen all over the kerb. Is there a response for the British driver diving down at turn number four? He didn't want to lose the lead. That's exactly what's happened. Off the road and rejoining Fernando Alonso, who's already had drama today at that turn. On board with Lewis Hamilton, going all the way around Sergio Perez. Fine way off the road goes Oscar Piastri in the background and rejoins at five it's Max Verstappen up a place Lando Norris down a place Russell Hamilton both past Perez as we see the Alpine and the McLaren go side by side so Perez down two spots what a move that was from Hamilton around the outside there chancing his arm and and it really paid off as he slides now up towards turn 10 for Verstappen it was a great start oh move move for second place that is opportunistic stuff from George Russell. Lando Norris, first on the grid, down to third, and the Mercedes are looking racy here. This is driver's eye view with Sergio Perez, Lewis Hamilton ahead, but for how much longer? That is the speed of the Red Bull up against the Mercedes. That is fourth place for Sergio Perez, who breezed by for now, but look at the drive off the corner that Lewis Hamilton has got. It's a short racetrack. It's an intense racetrack, and there's a chance to come back at a corner that was famous in 2021 for Red Bull versus Mercedes. Dare he go around the outside, elbow out. He's lost one place, might be another. Charles Leclerc to the inside of turn number five. They go wheel to wheel as they climb the hill. Dare Leclerc keep it in. No, he does the wise thing. Great battling between all three of them. OK, we go to the main straight once again. Is there a chance for Lando Norris? There is. Lando Norris retakes second position. He lost it a few laps ago. He stayed cool. He regrouped. One more to go for his maiden win in the sport. Perez has a chance here, seven tenths back from Russell, but we know the top speed of the Red Bull is good. He can open the DRS. Can he get close into Tomani? He will. He's going to have the opportunity. Defensive move thrown by George Russell. Not enough. And another illustration that Mercedes doesn't have the top speed required. And the Red Bull, if it can get close out of turn 12, James, it is a slam dunk. But it's different down to turn number four. Russell's going to be more aggressive this time. Dare he place it around the outside. This time he's able to fight back. Will they both make the corner? They will. Great move for Russell to retake third. There is your race leader. There is the man providing the competition. Here is Sergio Perez to the inside of turn number one. Russell will immediately try and tuck back into the slipstream. He's measured that quite nicely, but Perez makes the place. The big question this time, can he keep it? We plunge down all the while to turn number four. Now it's Russell who has the drag reduction system, but it's a different story. He might not need a trademark Daniel Ricciardo late lunge to the inside. The DRS, the top speed, the move about to be completed. Side by side, they go into the corner. Long way round for Daniel Ricciardo. Less grip there. He's got the move for the time being. He's got the place, but he was forced to a dirty, dusty part of the racetrack, and so he will have to defend down to turn number four, driving on his mirrors, the Scarlet Ferrari, trying to break back past with DRS, and he takes back the place. Ricardo nearly had it done, just too wide at turn one. Lando Norris was a tenth of a second faster. He's three tenths of a second away from getting DRS. That's what Daniel Ricciardo has. Take three of this battle where he's being sent the long way round and he's inching closer and closer and he gets ahead. That's a fine way to get by. He'll park it on the apex. He'll be slow to the power and he'll now know that he's got to try and break the toe for Carlos Sainz. Three car battle with Piastri joining in as well. They appear in our picture and it's well placed and it's well driven, Carlos Sainz. He knew exactly what he was doing. Superb defence from Sainz. It's really, really good. He's allowing Ricardo, if he wants to, to put on the big move at turn one. And he's so busy preparing then the exit that he'll get him back into four. Hickles. Piastri to the inside of his countrymen. And he barges his way through with a tidy pass from attack to defence for Daniel Ricardo, And Piastri takes the place. You could see it coming, couldn't you, Julian? I mean, you could just see the, the behavior, the attitude in that McLaren as they were coming up to that turn. He had that in mind, and Daniel just left the door open as Fernando Alonso now on the inside of Gasly into 12. What are we seeing out there? Something about Sao Paulo sets these drivers alight. What a move. Gasly will want it back immediately. This is racing today, it really is. DRS for Alonso and Gasly, they're side by side up to the first corner then, but Alonso this time has the inside. Both had DRS, 
super late on the brakes, Fernando Alonso. All the while they're chasing down Piastri. Gasly just keeps it. But we're going to continue this battle. Oh, look at how much Gasly was snaking all over the road. And Alonso, on the power earlier, has the momentum, has the chance. But it's going to be the outside line. Who's bravest into turn number four? Who's got the racing line? Nearly contact, Fernando Alonso with a great pass. Russell again, very, very aggressive at the start and ahead of his teammate. His teammate, Lewis Hamilton, is in your picture, but for how much longer? Wow, that is a great pass. Another illustration of that Mercedes, no matter what wing level they run on it, it just appears to be a very draggy car and Hamilton is struggling for traction there. And that, what a sentence this is, could open the door for Yuki Tsunoda. Tsunoda, who had contact last time, doesn't want to repeat, but wants to place Tsunoda to the inside, but he's driving caution. Hamilton knew it, shuts the door. Here's the opportunity, building up to 200 miles per hour. There's no traction left for that Mercedes. It doesn't have the straight line speed. And Yuki Tsunoda takes sixth position as his teammate Daniel Ricciardo attacks on, trying to take ninth. Does he have the place? He does. He's taken it back off the Australian driver. Oldest driver in the field up against the youngest here. And Alonso getting closer and closer and closer still, diving to the inside. Piastri losing interest in this one for positioning the car beautifully. And the old and the young race each other brilliantly. He opened the door, placed the car perfectly, keeps the place. No contest with this man required. Took the lead in the opening meters of the first lap. He sees the flag first for the fourth time this season. Max Verstappen wins the sprint. He takes the checkered flag in Sao Paulo. Another fine drive from Lando Norris, whose wait for a win continues. The top three will be completed by Sergio Perez, who has an enormous margin on George Russell across the line, if you consider this is a sprint contest. How close can you get Daniel Ricciardo? Inching closer still. DRS with the Ferrari. Can he do it across the line? Not quite this time. Good effort for Daniel Ricciardo. Max Verstappen is the winner. His fourth sprint race contest where he has taken eight points, having won it once again, and he acknowledges this wonderful crowd around the Sao Paulo circuit.